today I'm going to be doing a thrift store haul. This video has been so requested since I moved to New York and I should say this is a collective thrift store haul. I just got back from California yesterday and I literally, like the first thing that I did this morning is go to the thrift store. So um, yeah, pretty much all this stuff was collected since I've moved to New York but some of it is like from the past and I'm just really excited to show you. So I have winter stuff and then I have more summery stuff so I'm just going to show you the like thicker um, like jackets and sweaters first. So the first thing is this vintage American Eagle jacket and honestly I've seen a lot of people with this jacket. I, I say that it's vintage because the tag is one that I haven't seen in a very long time. It says 1977 so I don't know if that counts as vintage but um I've seen old women on the subway with this exact jacket, uh, people from different schools that I kind of know with this jacket, and like everyone who wears it, they have really nice style, very indie looking, and I just love it because I feel like part of this community of people with this jacket, but um, I really love the colors, it's very fall, love the plaid thing going on inside, it's very warm, um, and it has a bunch of pockets, which is great because I can fit so many things, I don't really need to wear a purse when I wear this jacket, so it's just really convenient. There's even one inside which I put my little metro card in, and it's just very oversized, very long, and um, I really like that look. Pretty much every time that I buy a jacket from the thrift store, it's oversized, and that's intentional. I just really like oversized baggy looks, so a jacket can just eat me up alive, and I'll just be nice and cozy in it. So that is the first one, and that one is a little bit heavier. The next one I'm going to show you is perfect for spring, I think. It's still kind of transitioning in New York, so some days have been a little bit cold. But this is nice and light and thin. The brand is Dos Ex Machina. I don't know if that's Italian or Spanish. But this is just a great earth tone and I'm glad that I have a staple green jacket because I feel like everyone needs that. It has drawstrings and I really like the buttons because they're matte green so they just blend in very nicely and it also is really warm like it has this fleecy thing going on and it's like the nicest softest thing ever. I really, really enjoy it and I'll link it down below. It's I think like $118 or something online so I got this for $27 and um, it was a very good deal. Uh, next I just got a flannel which I didn't actually find. My friend thrifted it and gave it to me. Um, I lost all my flannels. Well, I donated them when I went to California and so I'm kind of restarting my flannel collection. This is like my first flannel in my closet, which is surprising and very sad. <laughs> um, I really enjoy flannels. They're thin layers that are really warm, so you can layer them underneath jean jackets and things like that. Next, I got the most amazing sweater for $1. This 100% cotton knit sweater. It's so thick, it's heavy. I mean, this is like just so amazingly crafted and it's a turtleneck. It has um, a baggier turtleneck which is just great for the aesthetics that I would be going for in this. Um, I know you guys can already see it, the red lip, the hair up, just pieces falling down. Um, perfect in the fall time but maybe I can wear this in the summer with like white pants and white converse. Like I could see that look on a boat or something because um, it gets windy on boats sometimes. I don't know. The brand is Laura Ashley if you guys like it and you want to like try and find one. It's a size small. Next is a thinner sweater. This is from Unif but I got it at Buffalo Exchange. This is the Crayola sweater which I have seen for a very long time. One of my favorite YouTubers like always wears this and so I really wanted it. It was like a hundred plus dollars and I didn't feel like spending that but I found it and it didn't have a tag on it so I don't think the thrift store knew like that it was UNIF. This is Buffalo Exchange, so they charge more for the good ones, um, on like Goodwill or like unique thrift store. Um, so this was like $11, but it had a hole in it, so they gave me a discount and I just fixed the hole. But it's really beautiful. Uh, definitely wouldn't spend $100 on it. Compared to this one, this is like so thin. I wore this on 420. Um, it was cold as shit though, so. Next, I'm gonna be showing you a dress that I found with my friend at Goodwill, and it's so beautiful. I normally wouldn't opt for something like this, but I really like this mint green color. I like the pattern. It's very sweet and pure and delicate, and it fits so well, and I always get compliments when I wear it, and 
I just think it was meant to be. And the sleeves are like really loose and flowy. So it's gonna be great in the summer. I'll just have like these huge armpit holes and it doesn't look like it. So just a great vintage piece. I sometimes think about the woman who wore this before me. I feel like she was Asian, but I don't know. That's just a guess. Next is this little lingerie slip thing. It's from Victoria's Secret. I thrifted this when I lived in Santa Barbara and um, it's just very beautiful. It's a nice length because I usually like really short things because I have short legs so when things are short it makes my legs look normal size. Um, so this one is a little bit longer but it makes it more appropriate for sleep like every single day. It's not like super sexy in length which is good. Um, I don't even consider this lingerie. It's more of like a nightgown. Next I have this Free People tank which was really cheap. I think it was like five dollars. It's like this waffle knit kind of fabric with a few buttons going down it. I really like how it has this shape to it and it's just great. I, I really like it. I've worn it so much. I wear this with my gray Free People pants that I thrifted and it just it looks so great together. Okay, you guys have all seen these. These are um, heels that I DIY'd. These are from Buffalo Exchange as well but they are originally from Forever 21 and I get so many compliments on these. Everyone thinks they're Jeffrey Campbell's but Forever 21 and then some like $5 little fruit guys on there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I adore these shoes so much. I've worn them a lot and I just think they're great for the 70s vibes that have really been in lately. I went to my storage unit a few weeks ago in Maryland and I picked up some scarves that are actually my mom's, but I think they're so cute. So I got this one. It has a lot of earth tones. It's just a nice like tapestry paisley print and the bottom has some brown. So this is obviously like great for fall, but it's really light and I just think it's so beautiful. I really like light scarves like this. I don't like heavy knit ones, which makes me feel like I can wear this in the summer and it'll be fine, like I won't overheat. And I also got this one, which is black and it's so beautiful. It just reminds me of Venezuela, like flamenco dancers and it's sheer and super long. So I don't know how I'm gonna wear this yet. Just throw it over my shoulder, like such. But it's really cute. I, I like it a lot. Gonna make the most out of those scarves until my mom sees this video and texts me. I'm waiting for your text, mom. <laughs> um, I got this shirt from Topshop. My sister actually gave it to me, uh, who lives in New York. And yeah, it's just nice, flowy, simple spaghetti strap tank. I really like wearing this with um, like a nice free people bralette with back detailing because of the V in the back as well. I really like that detail. Yeah, just some boyfriend jeans, black boyfriend jeans, a nice necklace. It's really, really cute and comfortable. I got these sunglasses today, which I don't think I'm gonna wear, but I just thought they were cool. They look like this. I haven't sanitized them yet, so I don't wanna press them on my nose, but the brand is Kimono, and they're just clear. I really wanna get a nice pair of clear sunglasses, but these ones, are kind of small and I have a big face so I just feel like I just look too bug-eyed but today's items I'm most excited about because I haven't worn them yet and the first thing are these white bullhead high-waisted skinny jeans these are $15 uh, from Buffalo Exchange Buffalo Exchange looks out for styles and trends and that's why they price stuff accordingly which is why I don't like them as much because the prices are higher but at the same time they have selected pieces that are in trend so it's nice also I'm pretty sure they do returns which most thrift stores don't but I'm cheap I'm used to one dollar things at thrift stores and um, <laughs> I just haven't found that in New York City yet but it's cool it's, it's all good um, so these remind me of the American Apparel high-waisted jeans but for some reason they just feel like better quality because the American Apparel ones are like thin and honestly see-through. I tried them on and I just completely saw through them and I was like, I know this might be the point of it but I can't wear these on a day-to-day -day basis. These ones are also kind of like you can see your underwear if you're wearing bright ones but they are just seem like a thicker material and they're not as see-through. Um, like pretty much all the white pants we've ever tried on have been see-through for some reason but these ones do a great job. I like, once again, this white matte button. I like when they just make it so you can't really see the button if you're not looking for it. I like the teeny pockets because that makes your butt look bigger and I, I just overall like the style of these. I really like this look. It's just thin, thin, 
really appreciate the aesthetic of that and like I said just skinny jeans so this is my first pair of white jeans since literally middle school so I'm really excited to style these I don't know how or what I'm gonna wear them with but I got these white Converse that are very clean and sparkling new so I think that'll look good with this and just make an all white outfit maybe a loose white top t-shirt these are bullhead jeans which I think are from Paxson yeah I believe that it's a Paxson brand Oh my god, the next pants I got are so monumental. This is like honestly gonna change my wardrobe forever. They're these plaid polo Ralph Lauren jeans and holy shit, they're so amazing. And let me unfold them. Because these can be worn two different ways. Also, I've been looking for the perfect pair of plaid pants for I think the past two and a half years of my life, maybe three. And I finally found them and it was out of the blue. I was in the thrift store for like three hours and I kept trying stuff on. Me and the fitting room lady literally became best friends and this was like my last venture into the fitting room and these fit so nicely. Like they make my butt look so good and I tried them on and I was like, damn. Like I haven't seen my butt in like years until I put these pants on. Um, so they're a boot cut, they're just straight but they have a little teeny tiny bit of extra fabric at the end um, so you can wear like boots with them black heels would be nice but then you can also roll them up and then just make them like a straight leg boyfriend style pants which I really like I forget the name of the movie but it's European it's called train spotting I think yeah train spotting or trans spotting and it's basically this guy who's addicted to heroin and all of his friends like that's my aesthetic right now with these pants like just the European, like, grungy, um, guys who wear earrings look. That's what I'm going for with these. I'm just very excited. Okay, next I got this Brandy Melville two-piece set for 12 bucks, which I think is a steal for, like, a top and a bottom. Um, although it is very, like, thin quality. So it's this top. And um, the pattern is that of a curtain. You know, your grandmother's curtains or just your grandmother's blouse from the 50s. <laughs> uh, it's really, really cute. I like it. There's some buttons down and I just really like this set. This is the skirt. The skirt's a little bit loose. They're both elastic and this one just falls down to my hips whereas this is like a bralette. So there's a big space. So I'm just gonna have to tighten this and then um, make it a little bit high-waisted. And when I do that, it's very short. So I'm just gonna have to wear some spandex underneath. Very excited. I think I'll wear this with my brown Doc Martens. That'll be a great look. The next two things, I don't know if I hauled, but like it wouldn't hurt to show you guys them again. Um, it's this skirt, which I thrifted a very, very long time ago, but I've kept it with me. I've traveled with it. I've worn it several times, and which is surprising because it's a very statement piece, and I wouldn't expect to have worn this several times, but I love it. First of all, it has this really nice tie-dye thing going on but it's not cotton it's like what is this I don't know what this is made out of there's no tag but it's, it's very sheer it's kind of see-through it has beautiful embroidery with these sequins and beads and it, it's so lovely it hangs a little bit low on my hips but um it's okay like I just show off more of my stomach which is totally fine and yeah I just really really like this I wear it to festivals and concerts and things like that and just anytime I'm trying to go all out like I wear that skirt and the next top is similar to that in the aesthetic it's completely sequined very uncomfortable for the breast this is um, I wouldn't recommend not wearing a bra with this but I want to not wear a bra with it so I'm a little bit conflicted I'll probably have to get those like sticky boob things that's like literally two cups that you stick to your boobs um, and hopefully that works but it basically is like this bandana style and you tie it a bunch in the back and this is from Urban Outfitters. It's the Urban Renewal line so basically I think they just take thrifted stuff and recycle it or maybe it's thrifted fabric and they sell that. I like this for concerts and things like that as well. And that is all of the haul. Yeah, I would. I was going to do a thrifting tips video if you guys want to see that. Um, just let me know and I'm also filming an outfit of the week video some of it is pre-filmed so that might be up pretty soon but that is all so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye